Hello YouTube, it's been a long time since I've made a video that's basically because I've been working on Open Game Engine and some other little projects. Um, I'm planning on making a um, game uh, game programming series, so to do that I would like to get you guys introduced to the Open Game Engine, which is a 2D game engine, basically. Um, I'm going to make a um, Hello World kind of introduction with to it. So just download the latest binaries, which is currently um, 0.1.2.3. And once that's done, just go to Visual Studio. And I'm going to create the project here. The first thing you want to do is go to Add References. I'm going to my C drive where I uh, downloaded the, the the binaries and I unpacked it here and then just go import open game engine. The next thing we want to do is actually delete form one as we are not going to use that. We are not going to use these using statements and we are absolutely not going to use that code first thing which is actually the most important thing and nope we don't want to do that we just want the game engine uh, engine equals a new game engine and the game engine allows us to run the game and just type engine not run and you can see it takes a game configuration or nothing and actually that's what we are going to do we want to give it a game configuration GC equals a new game configuration which is what we want to do and make it run GC now in the game configuration as you can see it takes a title, width, height, uh, updates per second and things like that just going to use the hello world as title and that should be it now. Now what we want to do is actually make a new scene. So add a new class. Going to call it uh, Hello Scene, which is going to inherit Game Scene. Public Hello Scene the base and what is really important is to give it a new name so in my case I'm going to name give it the name of the class name I'm going to make it public so it's access accessible or something like that um, in the hello scene we don't need to do anything else or at least not as I'm going to show multiple ways um, now the next thing we're going to do is actually make the label so hello label oops that's not good okay okay that's fixed now um, this will actually inherit the hut label Okay, we want to inherit that. Um, public hello label. But we want to specify a position for that, so the X and the Y. And then just type the things. And in here, we want to set the position so the position equals a new vector 2 xy this dot text equals hello world and as you can see 
we now need to add everything together here. So the first thing is going to be to make the scene, hello scene, scene equals new hello scene, um, a hello label, label equals a new hello label, we're going to specify the width divided by 2 and the height divided by 2. And the, the last thing we need to do here is make a HUD layer. Layer equals new HUD layer. And okay, that's good. Now we can start to implement everything. So first of all, is we're going to add the label to the layer. So layer dot labels dot add layer. Um, oops, label. After that's done, we want to add the layer to the scene. So scene dot hut hut layer dot add layer. And once the hut layer is added to the scene, we want to basically add the scene to the engine. So that's what we're going to do now and as you can see there is a scenes collection. Add the scene to it. And now if you're going to run it, you might think it's going to work, but nope, that's not this case not. What we need to do first is the last thing and actually we need to switch the scenes. And now you need to go back. This is where it's coming. Very important that you gave it a name is you need to put the name of the scene you want to switch to. Um, let me just quickly see if we didn't forget anything. And it doesn't look like it. So if we're going to run it for the first time, you can see it's loading all of the DirectX libraries and as you can see there is Hello World displaying. Now that's a little bit small and we also don't like the font so we're going to actually give it a new font and I like Comic Sans MS and give it a 52, 52 size, maybe that will work. Now let's see and as you can see that's pretty much better. Now this is only the first way of doing it, so I need to go to the scene and in here we need to type overwrite draw and now you can see it got a draw event arcs which will help us by drawing a string or whatever we want to do. So Now we need to specify a font, so font f equals new font, also going to do comic mm, Arial maybe 35f, you can also give it more parameters like the font style, font weight, ah maybe we're going to put the uh, font style dot uh, italic and the font weight dot normal that will also work F a new solid color brush by the color of um, cornflower blue I like that a lot and let's give it a 50 by 50 draw coordinates now you will see there will be two hello world once it's loaded and yes as you can see now we got hello world here hello world 
so uh, that's just another way of doing it we're going to add a um, third way of doing it basically just the same as this one we're just showing you can make basically do it with, with everything and that's like the hello objects a public class oops it's going to game object and public hello object just give it the base and here we're going to put the this dot text uh, or no, no 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 not this dot text just this dot position equals new open game engine dot vector two um, let's say 150 by 100 something like that that seems good for me and override the draw again and in here we're just going to um, let's see we're going to put this again this dot position Um, Ariel or um, let's see what other kind of fonts do we have um, let's quickly just open up notepad and let's see what kind of font oh I think I know the font I'm going to use but does this have yes I'm going to use the Starcraft font and I'm just going to make it normal and maybe give it 40 F I like the um, orange reds maybe let's see if this is going to work um, hello object oh, I'm going to give it the OBG is equals a new hello object and then you can just basically put it like um, I don't know if the engine has it I don't think so it only has the scenes and no not in the engine but if I'm not mistake yes the scene has the game objects collection and you can just put in there the object so if everything is correct now and that doesn't seem like it's correct and it looks like we looks like somewhere we okay so basically just told us that it didn't want to get involved with um, with that because the short direct X is not um, so let's see if it's going to rebuild yes it's going to rebuild so that was just a little mistake there and for some reason the game object doesn't want to get to the render stuff so um, this dot visible true and this dot um, enable true I guess Accepts inputs, um, mm, not really visible. Blah blah blah. E. Now let's see what's going to 
does it show up in here something like a error oh well now it's working so as you can see there are really a lot of ways of doing it as you can also see there's like um, the engine is still in alpha so uh, it's like really a little bit buggy sometimes but I think it's going to get like um, really good one day um, tomorrow I will be working on the documentation so I just tried out the Sandcastle from Microsoft today and if we're going to open it you can see it's still saying the default stuff there um, so as you can see there are like a lot of like these missing summary like I didn't just didn't have time to do that in some cases I did but just only the, the class summary and all the methods so I have to do a lot of them and I'm going to spend um, tomorrow making that and then uploading the um, this the um, compiled HTML help file to the website for people to use it like look at the methods and then I will start thinking about other ways well actually about the project I'm going to make so it's basically going to be a um, game programming series but I'm just still thinking about what I could make like so it's really interesting for you guys um, I'm just at the moment I'm thinking making some kind of 2D uh, top-down RPG style um, thing so I think that's going to be a lot of fun um, so yeah So yeah, thank you guys for watching, um, I'm going to just run it for the last time. Just so I can say StarCraft is awesome. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, 